Excellent. This is Ilion Satellaire IDF, and I yeah, want to show a little bit of a demo on Intel EMT Commander. So we have a great setup here at IDF for Commander, and I'm going to go and set up the machine. Now, this is my console. This runs Commander, and this is the client I'm trying to manage. And obviously here, the operating system is not working. There's a whole bunch of problems with this machine. So we're going to go and investigate remotely what's going on. I'm going to right-click, say connect to this computer, and it's going to go ahead and connect. We can take a look at hardware asset. It's all right here. We have networking, we have data, we have eventing, all this available information, always available, and even if the computer is not working correctly. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is right click and say take control. And here I have my control terminal. I can go ahead and say reboot to BIOS setup. And you can see that on the right here, this computer is now rebooting. It's doing it so remotely, it's going to enter the BIOS, and you're going to see the BIOS screen show up on Intel EMT Commander. Now I can go and select options. I can go and uh, modify the BIOS to go and start trying to fix the problem or diagnose it. Another thing I want to try to do is, as you notice at the bottom of this terminal screen, there's a floppy disk drive. Uh, it's an image that has been uh, placed here, and I'm just going to go and enable IDE redirect. It's this feature that maps a disk on the remote machine. And now that that is done, I can go remote command and say boot to recover to floppy disk drive. And this system is now rebooting again, but it's going to boot on a floppy disk drive that is actually located on a console machine. So all the network, all the access to that floppy disk is actually going to occur uh, onto AMT and then forward it onto the console machine. So you see the A prompt now, and I can type DIR, enter. Now I'm in DOS. This DOS disk is on the remote machine, but also using a feature called Serial Over LAN, all the screen here is actually being captured by the BIOS and sent over this COM port over to my terminal. So I can go and start diagnosing the machine. I can go and start fixing things that, that would be wrong. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and do a normal reboot. Actually, let me do a power down. I'm going to go power down. And as you see that, I'm going to hit OK. And boom, this computer is now off. Now, it's almost completely off. The, the management engine on this computer is still on, but otherwise the processor, the RAM, most of all this computer is completely off. And you can see that I can go back to the console, say power up, say OK, and this computer is now powering back up and being brought alive. All this remotely, I haven't touched anything on this computer. So now I can boot into an OS. So that's a quick demonstration of all the cool stuff you can do with MT vPro, MT Centrino Pro, and Intel AMT Commander. Thank you and have a great day.